Hello everyone, some interesting satellite imagery to look at here, shared and put together by Tatarigami UA on Twitter. So these satellite images show Russia's covert helicopter base in Crimea, Ukraine. These images are from throughout 2023, but just shared now. This base was set up shortly after Ukrainian forces liberated Kherson, with Russia moving helicopters from its Chaplinka base, which became within range of HIMARS, to other locations, including Berdyansk, which you'll remember got hit by Atakums and has now been dispersed as well, and also to here. So far, this base hasn't been hit. We'll have a look later if Atakums can reach it. On this image we can see that there are 20 helicopter pads on a beach, with 10 occupied by helicopters. It's hard to tell from the imagery, but these look like just bog standard helicopter pads. I can't see any defensive revements of that sort of thing. So the helicopters here would be quite vulnerable to an attack and strike. Visible are Mi 24s, Mi 8s, and Car 52s. So a good assortment of prizes here for attackums. You can spot that this is on the site of a beach. It's actually a beach resort enclosed by a fence. Here is an image of the site in 2021. So Russia. Set this up quickly to make a makeshift helicopter base. Tatarigami suggests the surrounding hotels are used as accommodation for the pilots as well. Now, what I find interesting would be, is if this location, pretty much on the beach, took any damage during the storm which hit the Black Sea a week or so ago. These are very close to the coast, so it does seem possible that the waves may have flooded the airfield, maybe damaged some of the helicopters. I remember that storm was bad, destroying a floating dock in Sevastopol, grounding a ship off the coast of Russia, causing two ships off the coast of Crimea to collide. Unfortunately, the only image of this area after the Black Sea storm is this one, from December the 2nd, which is a few days after, and it's too hard to make out any details. It does look empty. The grey patches, I believe, are the landing pads, and I can't see any signs of helicopters here. So it is possible that during the period of bad weather, these helicopters were transferred to a safer area. Or, is the grey patches maybe flooding over the um, helicopter pads? I'm not too sure, it's too hard to tell. But again, the satellite imagery unfortunately just isn't good enough to say for sure if the helicopters are here or have been dispersed, whether as a precaution or because the base got flooded. Here's its location overall, so it's northeast of Crimea. Actually, technically, just outside of Crimea really, but close enough. And of course, the big question, can Atakums hit it? Let's check. Now, so far, Ukraine is confirmed to have the M39 Block 1 Atakums with a 165km range, not the 300km one. As you can see here, the Block 1 one can reach. It's at its upper limits of its max range, but fired from the edge of Ukrainian controlled territory near Kherson, it can just reach, so this is a viable target. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting. Now before we finish, a quick mention of a new ongoing fundraiser with OSTAP to raise money for mine clone equipment. Big thanks to everybody who's donated so far. We've raised money for him in the past and he requests for funds be sent to my PayPal and then forwarded on to him afterwards. Thanks very much and take care everyone.